Tonight, the recovery is just getting underway in Hot Springs Village, which saw the worst of the destruction from Thursday's EF2 tornado. Channel 7's Ashley Butler joins us live with the resources available to those impacted. Ashley. Beth, the local Red Cross has been stationed in Hot Springs Village since Friday, providing assistance to those in need. The EF2 tornado hitting Hot Springs Village left many with damaged homes. One local resident's home was so severely impacted that she and her family were forced to move out completely. Thursday night, we took cover and four trees fell on my house. Uh, we were trapped in our house. The contractor that just did my roof four months ago came out and cut the trees off the house and got us out um, and tarped our roof but currently our house is not livable. Leaving Holly Maltzby, her children, and her dog living in another family's condo until they were able to move back in. We just had hail damage last summer, so we had our roof replaced. Um, the contractor who did it reached out to me that night. Um, he's gonna be the one fixing our house, but obviously have to wait on insurance to come look at it before he can get started, so it's gonna be a long process. The local Red Cross has been stationed in the village since Friday assessing damage and providing financial assistance, medical care, and tending to the physical and emotional needs to those impacted. Just hoping that they can get our neighborhood cleaned up pretty quickly, get our houses repaired and get back to normal life. Red Cross saying in a statement that they are providing a holistic approach on a case by case basis. Just keep us in your prayers because we need it right now. Um, more than just physically, mentally as well. It's been rough trying to get through everything. The local Red Cross is providing is knocking on doors of homes with significant damage, saying those that have yet to get assistance should call 1-800-RED-CROSS. On your side live in Hot Springs Village, I'm Ashley Butler. All right, Ashley, thanks a lot. Local churches are also providing assistance to those who need it.